Okay, next one we're gonna cover is memory. The memory issues that you might have is the memory either is too slow or you don't have enough of it. If you have memory that's too slow, it shows up in diagnostic tools often as your CPU is slow. Right click on your window icon and select the task manager. I'm gonna do something that I often do in video editing. I edit it in advance and then I play it to see how it plays out. When I start hitting play, the memory starts getting used up. And once it uses up all the memory, it starts paging out the memory to the disk drive. In our case, it's an SSD, so it's a little faster. Look, this chunk of memory you're not using, I'm gonna save it on the hard drive. If somebody tries to access it later, I'll bring it back and move some other memory to the hard drive. So it's trying to make, like virtualize that you have memory that you don't really have. Mm -hmm. That's called virtual memory. In that case, you got a couple things you can do. You can get new software and hope they fix the memory problems because sometimes it's just a memory leak. The application allocates memory, but it never frees it back up. So over time, it uses it all up and starts to become a problem. The other thing you could do is buy more memory, which is a great idea. Mm -hmm. And the best thing in the short term is just quit the app and start over. And hopefully it can start over at zero and not use up all the memory the next time. But as, if you ever notice it's running out of memory a lot, Keep your task manager up, maybe go to the single view like this and watch it so that when you see things start to get buggy on your system, that may be why.